Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am coming at you with a witchy haul. So I have been, um, it's not a big haul, just a little haul. I've been collecting or picking up things um, little by little over the past few weeks or so and I just thought I would share them with you. So I'm really excited about them so I want you to be really excited about them too. Um, and I'll link below to the things that I can. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, I actually, actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these, but I went to Michael's, as I know we all love to do, and at Halloween they have all of the Halloween decorations out, but I'm really not one to, excuse me, I'm really not one to purchase a lot of the Halloween decorations just because I don't, I would leave them up and I don't really want my house to look like aisle five at Michael's. <laughs> um, I like things that I can kind of incorporate in to give it more of a, um, give my house a little bit more of a, a witchy look, but without being too tchotchke. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just, um, I don't know, it's just what I like. So um, I enjoy looking at all of the decorations and I do get tempted to purchase everything, <laughs> but, but I don't. Uh, but I did see these. These are Martha Stewart bottle labels and you get a pack of them so I'm going to show you a couple of them and I thought they would be perfect for my herb infused oils that I have in these big jars so I just clean the jars after um after whatever was in them is gone and then I take the labels off and there's a way you can get all the sticker glue from the labels that were on them before off so I do that cleanse them, clean them, whatever, put my herbal infused oils in them, and then I stick these cute little labels on them. And then I have what's actually in it there on the back. Um, there's some more. Let me show you one other one. There's a bunch of them here. There's this one. It says witchcrafted because it was. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Show you one more. Um, let's look at this guy. Witch's hemlock. And I know what's in this one. This one's grapeseed oil plain. So just so flippin' cute. Love it. Love it. And then I went back to Michael's and I found matching little stickers. You get three packs of each. So I got that one. I really love this guy here. And this guy's super cute too. If you look, he's got a little eyeball in his beak. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to use these for, but I bought them. And here's the other one. I like that. Witchcrafted. Potent poison. So... So that's those. Um, that's it for the stickers. Then I ordered, I talked about this, spoke about this in my last, one of my videos. <laughs> I only have two other ones. One of my old videos. Um, it is Esmeralda's Lenormand. I have the original, but she came out with a new deck. Um, so this is the original. And the new back looks like this. And it's the same deck, but there are a couple key differences. And the first difference, here's the original writer card. And here is the new writer card. There we go. So the new one does have an extra little, um, these cards have little like hints as to the meaning down below. So this has an extra little hint. But other and the writer itself is a little bit different. But other than that, they're the same cards. Um, but the reason why I got this one was because it. So you do your normal reading with these 36 cards, and then it also comes with 13 extra woman cards are just gorgeous. And I believe the way that they're supposed to be used is 
you do your reading and then you pull one of these as kind of a second oracle and it's supposed to represent different guides that are with you for the reading and I'm trying to find out more about it but a lot of it is in Spanish and I don't speak Spanish um, anyways there's 13 of these and I'm not gonna go through all of them but they're gorgeous and I just had to have them <laughs> it's just one of those things I'm obsessed with this deck really excited about that actually um, so it did come with this time it did come with a little booklet and it is in English but it just outlines each of the cards and it does talk a little bit I'm gonna have to read this later but it does talk a little bit about um, slightly different meanings than the classic meanings a lot of people go with because it's Brazilian I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it gypsy cards and it was made in Brazil these shipped from Brazil but I'll link her below because if you like these cards, I mean, they're gorgeous. I brag about them all the time because they have that, like that, there's the regular woman card. There's the one that's shiny. I don't know if I want that one or not. Let me see. Anyways, love these. And I made my own little, maybe if that's sticking out. I made my own little bag for so there's that. Next is my most recent purchase. Not this jar, what's in the jar. Actually, um, part of my haul I wanted to show you, this was a container that had a Bath and Body Works candle in it. And every I love buying their candles, especially when they're on sale. And um, Every time I throw away the container, I just feel super wasteful and like there could be something else I could be doing with it. So I researched how to clean them out. And you just basically, all you do, if you have a candle, any, this works for any candle, any glass container, you just burn it down as much as you can. And then you take what's left and you stick it in the freezer overnight. And in the morning you take it out and you just take a butter knife and you crack the remaining wax like ice and you dump it out. And then any wax remnants are frozen so you just pop those off. And then you wash it with soap and water and bam, you have a nice clean glass. This one still smells like the candle. And it has, and they have nice like um, airtight rubber lids and they're just beautiful. These are little glass candle holders and I just put tea lights in them but they had candles in them that I melted down cracked it cleaned it out and I just thought they were super cute and these were from the dollar store so I got these for a dollar each just, I don't know I liked them they're two-tone and when they light up they light up they look really really pretty so I put candles in those every night and they look beautiful And then I have, this one was from the dollar store too, the little mason jar, the lid, it's a cheap candle, it didn't really smell that great, but I wanted the jar, and it was a dollar, so. <laughs> um, so this would actually be perfect for um, keeping things in, but you could also use this as a honey jar, uh, maybe for love, to use the vibration of the pink, I thought that would be cool. I already have one going in a regular honey um little mason jar but I thought I don't know I thought that'd be cute so I have to find a use for that um, um, but I got five oils from Conjured Cardia and I had purchased oils from her before and they're just they're phenomenal so I'm going to show you each one of these um, this one is Abre Camino Abre Camino and something that I really love about her labels is it's just what it is and who made it and that's it. <laughs> the focus is all on, sorry I'm super bad at this, the contents of the bottle. So you can see all that beautifulness in there. Um, this one is Protection 5.
gorgeous. And they smell amaze balls. Um, clarity and create. Clear and cut. This one is now clearly and creative composed. Just go to the and clean B. Let's go ahead and show you the good stuff there. There we go. Look at that. Pretty. So I'm just gonna one second. Oh yeah. I feel like I want to eat it, but I won't. So I got those and I'm really excited to use those. I've got oh and she also sent a free some last time she, I ordered she sent um a few free um like conch shells, I wanna say. The little tiny shells. Sort of like money or something. And then this time she sent a piece of Palo Santo. Which, oh, that just smells so good too. But Conjure Cardia sent all everything wrapped in this cute tissue paper that she stamped with a little voodoo doll. I always keep her tissue paper. She just, everything is so lovingly packed and made with such intention and in every little step it's it's worth it um what else i got i went to michael's and i did buy a little tchotchke um i ended up buying this bowl if you can see it it is i'm going to show you i just put my stones in it here let me empty it one second and it is black raven feathers or crow feathers. Isn't that? I just, that was one of the things I thought, that is cool. <laughs> I'm going to buy that and put my crystals in it. Usually when I buy stuff, when I, um, I'm just window shopping or impulse buying, I don't have a plan for it. But right away I thought, I'm going to put my crystals in there. And they look really pretty in it, so... I'm really happy with this one. I think it was only, um, I want to say nine or ten bucks, which I don't know if that's expensive or not, but I thought, I thought it was okay. I think that's it. Short and sweet. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.